Okay, so here we are, and we are at Cucamonga Peak. We're going to do a little discovery hike, and behind me is Jesse. So he is going to be coming along with us for an awesome little hike. You can see we are just about ready, and it's not going to be anything special. We're just going to discover because we're going to get jesse into a little bit of snow <laughs> right yep some snow he said he wanted to see what snow is like and i told him you will get to know snow so let's go ahead and get started we are pressing start what will be our goal well if we can make it We'll try to see if we can make it. I don't know. Oh, by the way, yeah, we made one major mistake, which is, and not even we, I made a major mistake. That is, I forgot our trekking poles. Yeah, that's dumb, but we'll see. Anyway, apart from that though, we will see how far we can make it. Um, excuse me. We're gonna get boogery, you know the cold weather. But we will, Try to make it as far, if possible, to the saddle. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, the whole point, though, is let's see how far we can go. And if we make it to the saddle, we'll take it from there. If possible, we might even try for, I think, thunder. It's all up in the air. I'm sharing that with you now, so you'll see how our plans here are open and uncertain. We don't know. You from the future will know. So let's get cracking. Did you hear that noise? Yeah. There, a rock fell. Yeah, this was like a avalanche. I don't remember this, but this tree, I wonder how much longer it's got because it looks like it's going to be falling down. Right? Wow. It's like it's about to break soon. Yeah. 100 year old house, man. I'm not going to walk into a titanic hole. There's a, there's a snow patch over there. But my question is, why is it there no snow patch? Not a single snow patch over there. Well, that's a good question then. Check this out. So, where is the sun in the sky? Yeah. So the sun is over there. And the sun is facing, where is the sun, where is the sun, which side of these slopes is it going to hit? This side or this side? Yeah. Which side is probably going to be in the shadows? This side. Exactly. So that side has more shadows, right? Exactly. <laughs> yes. This is the Chapman Trail. We'll take this one. Remember I told you that's a nicer one? It's a little longer. From here, we head to the Ice House of the Saddle. Well, here you can see. So the Ice House Saddle from the Chapman Trail is Yeah, and if you take the Ice House Trail, yeah, it's almost two miles longer, but this trail's nicer. Let's go. Awesome.
They're uh, cedars, but they are very closely related to the redwoods, yes. You know that moss tells you what side of is north. Well, usually, uh, you know, to every rule, there's plenty of exceptions, but yeah. Like the first time you've seen it, man. <laughs> we'll get more. I love this hike. It's so fun. I get to, I get to eat some snow right now. <laughs> <laughs> if I find a good pack. You'll get plenty of that in just a bit. Pretty good, pretty good compact snow. I'm gonna get snow blind, man. There's not, you haven't reached the actual snow yet. This is just the beginning. You know what snow blind is, right? Yep. <laughs> when you're out in the snow too long, and the sun's hitting it, and you go, <laughs> well, right now the most important thing like first just follow me and step carefully there's already steps here and just go easy especially on these parts just go easy Some fresh. so you don't have to slide down the slope and go for a little unexpected snowboarding ride <laughs> Some good quality snow. Yeah. Tasty. Should have brought some Tampico or something. I could have made a snow cone. Some raspados? Some raspados. Well, that's just the realization that you have made it to the Cucamonga Wilderness sign. <laughs> it will always feel like that. mile mark actually it's more than that remember they're always like underestimating Like we're going through the North Sea. <laughs> so much bumps and turning things. Yeah, that's the trail. 
Actually, the other one is going to be even rockier in many parts. But that's the whole point of this. So I twisted my right ankle when I stepped in a hole right here. I hope nothing happens, but hopefully we're okay. You were okay, right? Yep. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go. My ankle does hurt a little right now, but it doesn't. I, didn't, I can't tell this why. I can only tell later. Will it swell? I don't know. I don't think it will, though. I think it's just going to be sore for a few minutes. Oh, and then I should recover. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Okay, give me a sec, let me turn off the camera, and I will guide you. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, take your time. We're good, we're almost there, you're almost here. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. Yeah. Two hours later. So, Jesse can tell you we just saved our own lives. Yeah, we did. <laughs> that ain't no joke. How do you feel right now? I feel all right. I mean, it's, it's tough. It's pretty tough. Yeah, so we had to turn back because, like, it was about a half mile before the end of Chapman, before where Chapman ends. There was a snow. There was an imp, there was an avalanche that had just completely covered the, the the track. Right? Yeah. It was invisible, so we couldn't see anything. I tried to climb it, and I had to go like almost up, like a very very steep slope. And poor Jesse, I forced him to fall. And I know, oh my God, his mom's gonna kill me if she saw how much danger he was in. I know. I'm sorry, man, but you did it. Just don't do it. Just don't ever do it. Blame me, okay? It's my fault. I'm the idiot. And yes, those of you who want to hate me, hate me. I'm stupid. But he was awesome. He followed me very closely. He listened to my directions. We took a long time, but he got cold feet. Tell him about your feet. Oh, my God. They're frozen right now. They're like icicles. Hold on, but actually, but you feel them and everything. And but, we put some. It, yeah. So we no, rest. It's, it's a lot better right now. Tell you that but there was a while where they were in pretty serious shape and 
I gave him my hot feet and his. So he's got like two pairs of them in there. And now they're pretty warm, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice and warm. And the other thing that was also my fault. So I, I, I have to admit my faults so that others don't. I made him climb more feet. We did 2,000 feet, but he's not used to it. He did awesome. He's exceeded his abilities, which is something he should be proud of. I should be ashamed of the fact that I put him through more effort because it's not even the 2,000 feet. It was all that post holing, the stepping in the snow that is like doubles the effort. So it's like he did two, it's almost like he did 4,000 feet. You just don't do that. That's like if somebody puts you on the bench press and puts you on the 300 pounds immediately. No, the bench is going to fall on you. So I, I admit it was my mistake. But I'm proud of the fact that he's pulled through. And trust me, my first priority, that's why we didn't film, by the way. My first priority was keeping an eye on him and making sure that he was completely okay. And he has been. Or, Yep. I'm all right. Yeah. So it's, it's cold. We're taking a little break. He has gotten cramps. That's what I'm saying. So he's gotten cramps. We're stopping every bit. The rest of the trail is going to start to get nice. So I don't feel any concerns with that. The only thing I told him is we don't want an ironic injury from our way, on our way down, which is, you know, here we are, okay. And then one of us twists an ankle. No, that, that would just be ironic. And we're not going to let that happen. So we will meet you in a bit. But right now, let me put this down because I'm starting to shiver a little. Probably going to have to take off. <laughs> Almost tricked me. <laughs> yeah, but once I saw that there didn't seem to be any trail, I'm like, wait, let me look behind me. Yeah. The thing is, you don't want to think about it because if you think about it, it's going to seem farther away than it is. It's hard not to, of course. It's like when they tell you, don't think of a pink elephant. Oh, these plants. I guess the next time I'll have to bring a machete. Still a few small snowy parts, unfortunately, but it's not nearly as bad as it was where we were. So. Yeah, this is annoying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Switchbacks. Been a hell of a day. How, you, of a day. how you feel? Not good. Never doing this again. <laughs> well, that light there. Oh, well, you can be honest. It's terrible right now. That light is the end of our hike. All that smoke you see on the video is the. Oh, that was eight miles. I was just going to say that's mile eight, but that was marking our. Um, this is the fog and the drizzle or rain. Yeah, but you're, you are hardcore, man. You, you survived. Surprise. And with no, and with no injuries other than super tired, you're going to be so sore tomorrow. So welcome back. And as you can see, this was quite a challenging hike. Right, Jesse? Yeah, it really was a challenging hike, man. I'm tired. I'm probably gonna go take a shower right now, to be honest. Okay, man. I'm about to go, go to sleep. I'll catch you guys later. Okay, man. All right. Be good. Yep, it's it. Now, originally, it wasn't even intended to be Ice House to uh, the saddle. As a matter of fact, we were actually going to hike Sunset Peak, but the road to Sunset Peak was closed, so we decided to try this one. And I actually, I was the one who thought, well, you know, we'll, we'll do Ice House and then we'll do Chapman Trail, mostly because I thought that Chapman being a higher road, and the last time I did it, it seemed like it would be much nicer. As a matter of fact, strangely enough, the snow level this second time, or this next time around, was higher. So that... All those things kind of, to me, gave me a little confidence thinking, okay, the snow line is higher. I suspected that it wasn't gonna be that bad. I was wrong. And that's when being wrong, you decide, okay, let's cut our losses, get out of here. This was still a challenging and wonderful and difficult hike. Right now, like I said, I've said before, if you feel like you don't wanna do the hike ever again, it was at, but you're not injured, you're successful. You know, poor Jesse is gonna be sore. I'm gonna be sore walking through all that snow, post holing like we did a lot. And then, oh, I twisted my ankle too. Um, but my ankle seems, it seems like it's gonna be okay. If it's not, I will update you here, but no news is good news. Other than that though, it seems like everything else worked out. It was cold, but that's normal. You know, The only thing that was important was that we did have a challenge. We did learn a lot. He learned a lot about himself, and I really think you did awesome, Jess. You really did. You kicked butt, and you impressed me. So, other than that, though, I always tell you to don't forget to challenge yourselves. <laughs>